know what's going on what, what's going on people is Henry Crackhouse once again yeah your pigeon english nutrition is on youtube how not do it did happen yeah so um just finished doing my work and man i don't know why i keep doing this bullshit it's extremely cold today man it is cold eh? the thing is i have a treadmill at home but you know if it's not the real man it's not the real man so i i have a treadmill at home i wanted to do my this thing my i work out on my treadmill but then i thought hey i have to do a video after working out and um, it's not the real thing man it's not the same like you doing it like like actually moving while jogging so what's in the app on a day today you know, and i remember that video where i've been talking about pomo why you should you nigerians should stop eating the way you guys are eating um why you should stop eating pomo why you should stop eating animal products totally like pomo the intestine the, um, the is it shaki they call it like the inside of the cow you should stop drinking milk you should just stop copying europeans stop copying western diets these things are not your diet you're not supposed to eat these things you are not made to eat these things you know he gave one video where i talk about those things and uh, they be like say i've been get some blowbacks from people who don't really understand what's in the apple by the way i'm a biochemist still practicing to becoming a like to being certified a biochemist on papers you know because you know say the way thing me i believe i don't believe say i go go school where a different set of people could teach me something where it concerns me because what I mean with, 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 with what I mean, be say what I mean by that is that um, I I I can't be an African. I can't as an African travel to say China to Japan to practice their healing this thing be, 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 believe to practice their uh, holistic healing and all that. No, that wouldn't make sense. That really don't make sense. If I'm to practice. A herbalism i should do that in nigeria nigerians nigerian native doctors should teach me the things i need to know about my ecosystem my body but, but here you know you have to go to the school here and get certified given a the diploma a certificate so that they can feel good about it just for you to like so i'll call myself a biochemist anyway make, uh, make an onion too much so i've been talking about I've been telling her to stop eating pomo. Pomo is the skin of a cow or skin of a goat. She just is skin of any animal, all those things. Stop eating those things and stop eating milk. And I've been wanting to explain to you why. Why I said you should stop eating those things. What those things, what in those things they do inside your body. Because now those things, now then they cause all the sicknesses, the diseases and the illnesses well now they go through in Nigeria now. Most of you now, when I get family members, uh, most of you, your parents died. At, you know, you get parents where no live past 65, 70, 75. You even get brothers and sisters where no live past 45, 40. Some, some they die very young. Some two children they die. Even me, where they talk, my papa died at the age of what, 69? <laughs> so, had I known what I know now, had I known what I have known now, my father will, will still be alive today. Had I known what I know now, my mom will still be alive today. And I'm trying my best to let my siblings, my junior ones, my relatives, anyone who is in contact with me, anyone who knows me, if they want to be honest and stay true to themselves, they will say that I'm trying, I'm trying my best to educate them to tell them how to live what to eat the things they should not eat and the things they should eat see, see make i tell you now something eh? I, I will tell you what pomo and what those things do in your system but, but, but before i begin i want you to understand that we are africans we are different we as africans as the melanated human beings we are the original people on this planet i don't want to sound weird but it's the truth and we are different from every other species on this planet 
you know when they teach you at school um when they teach you at school about single cell organisms eh? we are the single cell organism we evolve from single cell organism we not we pursue as in me the african man talking no the african woman we, because we are all mutation we all mutated from the african woman you don't believe me huh. But maybe you they laugh now at the talk say this guy I don't know what they talk about. The African woman. Uh, make a switch to the other side because it'd be like say the sun they enter my face now. Huh? Okay. So the African woman, we all we all evolve and mutate from the African woman. So we are different from every other species on this planet. We are closer to the I make I not go into that shot. So, waiting. What I'm trying to say is say. We, we were not. We are not supposed to eat meat. Our teeth, our mouth, our physiology, everything about us isn't designed to digest meat. Everything about us isn't designed to digest flesh, meat. The, the, you don't need to study or a doctor or anybody to really tell you that. You should like just go outside. Just look in nature. Just look in nature. Come out. Go outside. Look into. Look in nature. See what thing that happen for nature. You go see. Say you no get anything for your body. We suggest say you suppose consume meat because. You don't get anything for your body where they design where you know you not come out from your mama's wound with a claw where you feed hunt your prey, cash them with your hands, tear and pieces, and you, you, you know you don't get teeth. See, we don't get see the way where our teeth is designed, they different from the way a cow's teeth is designed. A cow's teeth is arranged. Make a token like that. All the teeth. In, uh, uh, anyway, I go go into that again. Why I'm talking about cows now? No. I, I suppose say lion, right? Okay, but make I use cow face because the get where they are. Uh, get where to go with this. The way where a cow's teeth, them be all the uh, the waiting then call this the molars or all that or also them be all molars, meaning say. They design them to shoot to grind grass. Now, a human teeth, we get only formulas. Abby, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four here. Yeah. And then we our teeth is designed just to eat very soft things. We know they don't design our teeth to the tear and to, 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 to the tear flesh. Now, when you now you can't enter the feeling family like the cats and the and the the coyotes and all these things, the hyenas and these, their teeth they design their teeth to tear things, to bite into things, you know, to bite into things, tear them and rip the flesh off the bone. They have claws, they have, the, and they, they walk on all fours, so they feet accelerate and chase after their prey. You, they walk upright. The reason why you shouldn't get eat pomo and shaki and all these things that I want to talk about today, you get another video where I go, where I go tell you the reason why you shouldn't eat beans, rice, and all those things. But today, I really want to explain why you shouldn't eat pomo. Why things like pomo, things like cow milk. Which is actually a mixture of cow blood and cow pus. A pus from a cow, the waste product of a cow, a pus, the pus, and mixed with cow blood, nine be milk. If you think they are a lie, go to where they, they produce milk because the milk, where you they drink, they don't come process them after they come out them from the cow. If you see the real milk as the milk they come out from the cow's titties, you could see say, a mixture of pus and blood. So if you see that milk in that state, you no know, could like to drink it. They love it. So cats and lions, they get different sets of teeth inside their mouth. They have all the things up for their body. We could show you say these creatures. They say these creatures are hunters. You know, we the, the only way where we can attack 
and capture and a creature is by inventing things like guns, spears, a, no, yeah, spears, bow and arrow and all that. And then knives and then we can like, uh, and, and when we are even attacking these animals, eh, we they stand at a distance, they kill them. Because we know our natural instincts don't tell us, say, if you near these animals, they will kill you. Because these animals are armed to defend themselves. The only way you can kill a cow, capture a cow or a bison, a, an ox, is by you shooting that creature from a distance. The only way you can capture an antelope is by killing that distance, that creature from a distance. The only way you can capture a bait is by shooting that bait down from a distance. If you approach a gorilla aggressively, that gorilla will mow you down with his or her bare hands. So we are not designed, we, they, they don't design us to they eat flesh. They design us to eat fruits. They design us, we get two legs, we get hands, we get fingers and thumbs made for peeling. You suppose stand erect, walk to a tree, pluck a fruit and peel it and eat it and go somewhere and sit down not all the fruits not all the things where you're supposed to eat because the fruits them trees them too no too like also so them don't evolve them don't develop defense mechanism inside them too so that to stop us from eating them they, they contribute them they follow contribute they kill us they make us sick that could be a topic for another video why there are some vegetables you shouldn't eat where them they tell you say you should eat but i'm telling you you shouldn't eat them because once you go into you know once you start studying these things you could find out say most of the things where your quote-unquote doctors they tell you that lie them feed they tell you the truth based on their physiology but if you come to realize say you as a melanated african and them that two different species now there you could know say waiting and they tell you waiting them they talk they are not saying it no they they no put you no they, they no talk you no concern you at all i don't know how to because i won't make i'm trying to like speak pigeon so all my niger people women men and women elderly and younger ones then go feel understand waiting and they try talk because it's mostly the uneducated, the uninformed people. Now, them, they consume these things. Because, and, and the most educated people, they eat. I don't see, see, <laughs> that came out wrong. I take that back. Most educated families, the quote-unquote educated upper class for, for, for families, they eat worse than the local people in the villages. Because they, they quote unquote educated people with good jobs, they are the ones who eat egg every morning. Bread, egg on bread, butter on bread, cheese on bread, drink milk and tea. They are the ones who can afford those things. <laughs> Native local people in the village are healthier than the people in the city. So I take that back and I apologize for saying that. But you, but education. Education is not about you going to a to some building and spending four or five years at that location and then at the end of the time they give you they issued you with a certificate and certified you educate, educated and called you a graduate. No, it's not about that. Education you have to you have to go into the field you have to go out and research and look at things you have to look in nature you have to study things and like ask questions and like ask yourself why am i doing these things why are we doing these things are we supposed to do these things hmm? are we supposed to eat for more make i tell you what they do inside your body before i forget but before I do that, I go tell you, say, your body as a human being. Make I explain your body as a human being first so you go know why I say make you stop to eat those things. Your body, you get three funk, three things where they happen inside your body. Without these things, you no go. Without these things, you go die. You are dead. One, you get three important things where they happen inside your body. 
the first one na the blood where they flow in your body okay real quick i have to pause that video real quick just to throw this in there um there is this common misconception that your heart pumps blood your blood your heart pumps blood and circulates it all over your body that's wrong that's a false information i don't know if the people who keep saying this they know what they're talking about but that's a misinformation what actually pumps blood in your body is the lungs look at it like this the internal combustion engine of your vehicle that's exactly the same thing what the the, 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 the works they make they, 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 they know the same thing that's going on inside your vehicle is going on inside this vehicle this vessel which is your body you breathe in warm air when you breathe in air you inhale through your nose that air is cool down stop with here the air is cool down um like i talk i mean pigeon <laughs> some people they feel say they get this common misinformation where people they talk say in a heart now your heart now in the pump blood that's wrong that is not true waiting they pump blood inside your body now your lungs it be like your motor the internal combustion engine Waiting they happen inside your engine, they call up internal combustion. Be, meaning say A and petrol they mix together, they generate a, 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 a explosion. Then this explosion could pull, uh, could push the pistons up and down. This up down stroke, you know, if you're a mechanical engineer or an mechanic, you know what I, you know what I want to talk about. So the same thing, now the same working this thing, now they go on inside your body. You breathe in air, now your lungs, now in the pump blood. Waiting your heart, they do. Your heart, they circulate the blood. Your heart is a valve. Your heart be valve. Your heart, not a pump any blood. Now your lungs, they pump blood. So, waiting happen, we say, we will go back to the main video. This is, this is our own person. So, when you breathe in warm air, because the air where you they breathe, the oxygen where they around you is always warm. So, when you breathe in the oxygen through your nose, I make it be it very important make you they breathe through your nose not your mouth your mouth they don't make them for you to the inhale air because the filters no day for your mouth they filter the air and convert it into cool air but filter day your nose so somewhere here behind the back of your neck where go cool down the warm air where you they breathe in so the air could cool into your lungs then the, your lungs could mix them with the blood then it could mix them with the blood then it could shoot them out into your Heart, your heart could distribute them and waiting they control all this whole process all these things where they happen <coughs> waiting they contain all this uh, the waiting they control all this um uh, or, or autopiloting make a call and like that because of, of all these things now involuntary actions where, where you they make uh, you know they force yourself to breathe you know they force your heart to pump so, so, so within the control all these actions na, 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 your adrenal uh, gland where they sit on on top of your kidney gets more small things where you sit on you, you, you know your kidney be like this Two, eh? one on the right on the right side the other one on the left side on top of your kidney it gets something something waste it on on top of them i don't want to mention the name because i won't speak pigeon if i mention the name, so but, 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 but now your adrenal gland it could sit on it sit on on top of your kidney be like beans in form of a pyramid it shapes like a pyramid and then and it, that, that thing they control all the autopilot the way they happen inside your body you blinking your eye not knowing you breathing in just so everything all these things now it's an autopilot you know the meaning say you don't know say you they do them so that that thing they control them so your heart you know they pump blood your heart they distribute blood through your and they, they, they distribute blood the main function of your heart is not to carry oxygen where be the food where the mitochondria could take them to the cells each of the 150 trillion cells where they your body now your lungs they pump hard so it's very important that you keep these things these organs very clean and you take care of these organs because if you drive motor you know they take care of your motor you know they feel i'm good oil you know they put them good petrol you know they change blocks you know they change the fan belt you know they change the tires you know they do nothing what thing will happen to that motor after a while the motor go break down you know get motor to drive again so this consciousness where they inside you they talk they only use our body 
as a vehicle, as a vessel, as a vehicle to manipulate, to experience this reality. So you need to keep your body clean by stop by not eating pomo, not eating rice and beans, not eating shaki, not eating soya, not drinking beer. You feel drink palm wine, but very little, not every day. Just you know, eat things where they're natural, where your body could be absorbed. Because your body, if you carry diesel, put inside a petrol engine, it no go work because the engine no go recognize the diesel. The engine they design them to run on petrol. Now the same thing they happen inside your body. If you take the wrong food, put inside your body, your body no go recognize them. You could just push them some way. So now what happened was just add to this to this other video. Be that. Eh? Continue watching, like, share, and subscribe. Now be number one. The blood they carry oxygen. They carry oxygen when you breathe in. <laughs> And most of them are not even, you know, when, when you eat all these things, you eat fufu and your stomach come portrayed, bust out, and you the waka like say you carry belly. Most of them are no feet breathe, say you they breathe up instead of breathing with your diaphragm. That one I could talk about them in another video. So, blood, they carry this thing. Blood, number one is blood, where they carry oxygen from your lungs, they supply your body your cells for you to be able to you know you know your cells are living things right you as a black man you have about a hundred and fifty trillion cells inside your body white people have about only about 50 trillion so now you make us say we are different if you know hear me well make i repeat that you as an african you have about a hundred and fifty trillion cells inside your body where they eat them they eat them they poop <laughs> <laughs> they laugh. These cells, each and every one of these cells, they consume food and then they release waste products. The same way where you see everything where they inside on, on, on your body, everything where you get your nose, your ears, your eye, your mouth, or if each and every single cell in your body has the same thing. So them they eat, them they poop them they release waste product as in them they poop then they pee so number one is blood remember i talked say three things that happen inside your body where they're very vital and important if you are to be a, alive and to stay alive number one is blood where they flow inside your body so you know suppose mess with your blood you're supposed to keep your blood clean at all time because blood they carry oxygen they supply these 150 trillion cells number two now your neurons now your nerves your nerves where they communicate they send information from your main brain which is your stomach what you call what they uh, what they um, the, um what they um what doctors scientists will call they do it them duodenum or duodenum which is your guts that is your brain, your main brain. So you get the nerve, the nervous system, where be like cables, like wires, where they transmit electricity. So then they do exactly the same thing, the same thing where cables for outside they do, where then they carry electricity from one location to the next. Now the same thing where they are your nervous systems they do. So that is number two. Then they transmit information from your guts they carry them to your second brain which is the one in no 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 they, they carry information from your main brain which is your gut your duodenum they carry and go to your second brain which is your heart this place here and then to your third brain which is the one in your head you they confused abby why i say that this one be your face brain and this one your third brain make i tell you something you see this brain this one where they inside your skull these ones they receive information and then they um that uh, in the receive in every in, in, this brain here no no they tell any part of your body to do shit this brain here they receive information interpret those information then the same same amount here be like your central post office your central post office your main brain be you where they write the post because without you writing the post the post office no go get post to distribute am i right 
without you sending a gift, packaging something at the comfort of your home and sending it to the post office, the central post office will not have a package to send. So this brain in your skull is like the central post office. Your guts is you, your face brain. So your face brain will send information, directs everything where they happen in your body. Your guts, your aduadono. Not your stomach. Your stomach, just they mix food up with acid. They break those foods down and then they send it. All the activities, everything happens in the duodenum, which is your gut. Am I looking in the screen or? <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, that's number two, your nervous system. Then number three, the most important, is your lymphatic system. The thing that, 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 that thing where you they call immune system. When we say in my own world there is nothing like immune system, you're not immune to shit. Because if you were immune to anything, you won't be dead. You won't age. You will not die. <laughs> you won't get sick by aging, through aging. Because believe it or not, people, aging is a sickness, is a disease. Aging, as you they age, now disease means a things for your body, they die. Now it make you the old. So now disease, whether you believe it or not. So if you have what you call immune system, which is a lie, words they use to mess with your head. If you, there was anything like an immune system, you will not get sick, you will not die, we will live forever. But it's the lymphatic system, which is like this, eh? which is the sewage, like the cleaning face of your this thing. You see, uh, make her explain the thing. I'm talking like this because I just I want to connect with my people. Eh? So make it not be like, say, you think, say, I'm not serious the way I talk. No, the way I speak, I'm trying to bring myself down and like, so I can, you know, communicate and connect with my Niger people. Which thing we call the lymphatic system be this? Eh? It may be like a street or say a neighborhood, like an area. Mm -hmm. You get streets and on them, on them streets, the house is there. And for where I live now, every Monday and I think Thursday, we go push our, our waste bin, come out, keep for our for the front of the house. Then the waste disposal truck could come in and pack those waste. That is what your lymphatic system does. Remember, I talk say you get about 150 trillion cells in your body, right? Where they eat, they poop. Okay, now you get something. I think it is the mitochondria or something. Then they go around each and every of these 150 trillion cells, them, them they collect the waste where these cells they release. Then the waste, remember, say anything waste, any waste product is toxic. So even if you're eating the most. Um, even if you're eating the most healthier, they know the healthiest diet on the planet, the waste product where the cells, the shit out is toxic. So these things could go move around your system. In this lymphatic pathway, the lymphatic pathway is what it's called. It's like a pathway, meaning say, be like streets and corners, areas, neighborhood way. So them the waka. They clean up each cell. So all the poops and the pees, where the cells they release, now them then go clean up. They come out and put for outside. Then the mucus, the mucus go just, they go about, they pack them. They, this thing, this not thing where I could talk about in another video. But now these three things, now you need for you in your body to function well. Because if you don't get energy, oxygen, where your blood they carry, to supply your cells, you could die. You need you give you need your nervous system to communicate and know, tell your brain what to do and all that. Then three, you need to clean up your body. That is three. But when you come begin to eat things where you're not supposed to eat, it, it go in these things go inside your body and cause wahala. If you eat pomo, if you eat things like pomo. Um, 
and to make I think of how to take explain this so you better understand. Um, okay, I will try. Pay attention. If you eat things like momo, don't forget say you not supposed to eat these things because your body them no design you. The creator no 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 no, no been design you to consume things like that. You no get the right acid inside your stomach to burn to break these things down. Matter of fact, your body is not supposed to digest things. Your body is supposed to ferment stuff. It's the difference between digesting, you know, like things just rotting and, you know, the, the digesting, breaking things down and fermenting. And you ferment it and you bring this or anything. See, cats and lions and stuff like that, their body, they get acid inside their body where could break these things down. Most of them get even two, three stomachs. Like a cow has about two or three stomachs, right? And, and I make it, if they shoot grass, if they good. Because you can't digest, our stomach can't digest vegetables. Let's be honest, our stomach not be digest grass. So if a good chew a grass, we're waiting to happen. If you don't ever notice a good chew grass, it could chew that grass, it could swallow up. After a while, it could spit them out again. It could spit the thing up again. It could bring them up again, begin to chew them again. You can do that. There is a reason why goats and these creatures, they do that. Their body is designed set differently. They get a very different internal working system. We know gates. Now like they make us sick. They kill us when we they eat these things where we not supposed to eat because our body don't know what to do with it. Our body doesn't know what to do with these things. So when you eat things like pomo and chaki and all those things, your body don't know what to do with these things because your body cannot assimilate these things. You know, you, your body cannot absorb. There is nothing in these things for your body to absorb. Your body don't know what to do with these things. So your body pushes it, um, your body pushes these things somewhere and be like, hell no, I can't deal with this. I don't know what to do with this. It pushes these things somewhere and these things starts rotting inside your body. When these things starts rotting inside your body, hmm, your lymphatic system kicks in and triggers the, 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 the mucus. I'm just trying to cut things down because they're very scientific. If I begin to use a scientific word, begin to mention things, you go begin to go crazy. So you, your body triggers, the, 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 tells the mucus, the mucus goes in and covers this thing up. Because when these things begin rot inside your, 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 your body, it begins to they prevent the other cells from receiving oxygen, from breathing. It starts to suffocate other cells. So as a defense mechanism, your body sends the mucus, the mucus goes in there and covers, tries to cover this thing up, which is a, defend, a way of defending the body. But in a, in a bad way, because then while covering this thing up it um, it blocks other cells from breathing this is what the mucus does um the mucus goes in creates like a, like a cup whip around this rotten this decomposed cup this I, I i don't know how to describe it covers this thing up and then just to like prevent it from affecting, from infecting other cells, from disturbing other cells in the body. This is what later turns into what you guys call cancer and all that. Your body doesn't know what to do with this thing, how to deal with this thing. And this thing stays there and it prevents other cells from breathing. It just this until it, it takes like God knows how long. For your body to be able to find a way to get rid, get this thing out of your body. If you can't, if your body is not able to get rid, to get it out of your body, to get rid of it, it becomes cancer, turns into something else, something they have to come cut your inside to open you to remove it surgically. Now, I'm back, I say, there is no, you know, you're not supposed to eat these things. Your body cannot digest milk. Our body, our African body, no feed digest milk. You know, feed digest meat. You're not supposed to eat them. It is killing you. It's what is making you sick. 
You're supposed to eat fruit. You're supposed to eat fruit, pluck a fruit, and then say, yes, fruit is too sugary, too sweet. Now, so some people, some people go talk. But in the news flash, you remember those cells where I say be 150,000 trillion or so? Each and every of them, those cells, eh? Their, their brain be sugar now sugar they power them simple sugar i'm not see they see it is refined sugar that's bad it is the sugar where they don't come out from its the, 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 from its original state they put them through processing they process them turn them into something else now that one bad but simple sugar simple amino acid will be simple things you get from fruits those ones that then they power you, that then they, that then your mitochondria they take, carry go give, that then they help produce ATP, that then they help produce ATP for you to function. Without ATP, which is waiting, uh, adrenosine triphosphate. Without ATP, you know could move. Without adrenosine triphosphate, you know they do shit. So now this simple sugar, now them these cells they eat, they they convert them. If you check a cell through a microscope, you put a cell under a microscope and look at it. The brain, which is the membranes that surrounds the cell, is made up of sugar, simple sugar, and you get this sugar fructose from fruit. Now so they design us to live, not to eat meat and in flesh and all that we're not supposed to eat these things we supposed to live on simple sugar it gave one video where i talked about me trying an all fruit diet and it was amazing i'm still doing it i'm still on it they say if you eat only fruit you will lose your you know you know you get power do anything it's all bull crap do i look like i haven't eaten cooked solid food in two weeks no, I don't. Just finished walking out. Just finished doing six kilometer jogging. Do I look like I've been starved? Like I'm starving? No. But believe me, I've been eating fruit for the past two weeks. I eat it three times a day. <laughs> now, because you need to eat a lot of it for you to be able to generate enough adrenosine triphosphate ATP to function. I pee a lot. I don't drink. I haven't drank a bottle of water in two weeks but i'm peeing like hell that's where my water comes from my electrolytes i get my electrolytes from fruit early in the morning when i wake up the first thing i do is eat me a, a mandarin an orange that's where i get my early morning electrolytes which is the equivalent of you drinking a glass of water if you're drinking bottled water where we say then don't put that water under stress you know they give you shit Unless you are drinking natural spring water, where you can only get from its natural source. But since I live in Europe, I live in a place where we say our yes, you get this uh, natural spring where they my place here. Yeah. But I know to trust them now, you know. So I get my electrolytes now from fruits. Early in the morning, I eat enough fruits. It hydrates my body. It gives me the necessary water where I need. I just discovered this one like a few weeks ago and it's amazing. So the, the no feel say, see, and, uh, and uh, when I'm telling my people back home that, look, you should eat, eat fruits to heal yourself. That They always tell me hey, it's expensive to eat fruits. Eh? And I'm always like, look, guys, you, you have lands, man. You live in a, you own a house. And in that house is a compound. You own plots of land. Plant things. Start planting things. Start planting apples. Start planting oranges. Start planting pineapple. Start planting pears. Start planting things, man. You have space to plant these things. If, 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 even if it's a very little space, plant these things. Stop complaining that it's expensive. Start planting purple. Start planting ma mangoes, man. And eat these things. Eat from there. And heal yourselves. Heal yourselves, man. It's cold, man. I'm Henry Krakas, and I hope I made sense. I hope this video where you believe, where you don't watch now, you get, you get. I hope say I've been makes more sense. Eh? If I don't make sense, it means say. Uh, 
Well, you know, I know the script anything where I talk. I just they come here to tell you guys some things, you know, anything before I forget things. Nobody say I write things down, come they read, they tell you. Because if I do I like that, I go, you know. So I hope say you enjoy this video. If you do, I beg, give and thumb up and like. And maybe if you get person where sick, I don't talk and before. If you get person where they suffer from any illness, where they write me an email, I know I could tell you how to reverse that thing. I could tell you how to heal that person, and you feed heal that person because Niger, Niger no be place where you won't get sick. I'm telling you, Niger no be country where you won't get sick. If you know be the Tinubus and the Atikus and the Obis and the Datis, we get money to fly out, go Europe, come get treatment. We could still kill them at the end of the day. <laughs> because if you can't get treatment, where they no go tell you how to take, say, uh, how to deal with your problem from its source, they could just come pump drugs into you. It will still, it will end up killing you at the end of the day. You know, it will punish you, you will suffer things before you die. But since you don't get this money to travel out, to go to India, go to China, which don't make sense because these people are different people. They have different ways of healing themselves. We are Africans. Our healing should be in Africa. Our Africa has the answer to our problems, man. So start eating right so that you be healed can heal yourself because Niger will be a place where you won't get sick. Trust me. If you know anybody, you have any relative, any friend, anybody, mama, papa, we get sick and you don't know what to do because most of the drugs where they import from India give you not fake and they no design those drugs for you. They design those drugs for Indians. Those drugs where you, they import from the US, they no design them for you. They design them for white people in the US. <laughs> so <laughs> if you get just write me an email and i will walk you through the things first you have to detox that person that person get to clean him or herself up clean yours clean the body out i will tell you what to do the herbs to use the roots the vegetables to use to clean that person out when you're done cleansing that person then we start healing that person i walk you through how to heal that person naturally naturally won't charge you a penny i will just you just have to do what i ask you what i tell you to do i'm henry crackhouse my email could they under this video till then i'll see you in my next video stay blessed eat healthy and if i've been the look in the screen instead of the camera i'm sorry my bad i'm out